everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. My name is David and today we're going to look at my haul from Triple Force Friday. All right, welcome back. Thanks for hanging out with me. If this is your first time here, uh, make sure you look around the channel because I've done vintage book reviews, I've done game reviews, I've looked at some of my vintage toys. Uh, I love toys. We're going to look at toys some more. Talked about Star Wars Celebration, so make sure you check out the rest of the channel, hit like, hit subscribe, keep coming back. Today is Saturday. Today for me, recording this video, it's Saturday. Uh, this is the day after Triple Force Friday. So I want to talk about my Triple Force Friday experience. See if it compares to yours. Uh, we had two places to go uh, that were close by. Had Walmart, had Target. So pretty much both stores we went into, uh, especially Walmart first, uh, we went in late. Like we took time, we had breakfast, we dropped the kids off at school, and then we went to Walmart. So we were pretty much expecting to see a full-blown store with a display and everything. Walked in and nothing. Zero. Zip. Nothing. Nothing on the shelves. Nothing in the aisles. Zip. And so we asked the employees and they said, oh yeah, I think there's some stuff in the back. And they started bringing out some cases and we were like, yes, this is it. This is, it's Triple Force Friday. The boxes are all clearly labeled like it has to be out today and so they're like all right we'll start putting stuff up so we kind of knew that was a bust so we drove over to target and they didn't have a display they just had some of the uh product line on the shelves like it would be if they had just stocked the shelves and we were like there's a lot more than this you guys have more stuff in the back and then there were more customers at target asking about it and then they started bringing stuff out from target and then we were able to pick some things up at target a couple things and then zoomed back to Walmart where they had most of their stuff out by that time and then was able to grab some things at Walmart there. So I wanna show you real quick. I didn't get a ton of stuff. I didn't get a ton of stuff because I'm, I'm a collector that really wants to buy the things I want. I don't necessarily buy things to scalp or flip or resell and I don't buy things just to, just to have things. I don't need to have everything. I just wanna get the things that I like. So every time a movie comes out, I always get a couple carded figures. I don't get a lot, but I maybe pick up some new figures that look interesting. And then, of course, anything that has to do with Boba Fett or Jango Fett or Mandalorian. And this was this was the this was the Triple Force Friday for the Mandalorian. So I know you're excited to see that. So let's look at a couple of things, a few of the things that I got. First thing right off the bat is the hat I'm wearing it has a Mandalorian symbol on the front, and it's kind of all done in a rainbowy thread. If you flip the visor up. There's kind of uh, a graffiti-esque splatter paint uh, rim. And then the backside has uh, FL for Future Laboratories. And then there's the Boba Fett symbol that he has on his armor. The hat's tag says it's also presented by Funko. And the colors are done in a khaki and black. Okay, so I said I always pick up carded figures. And so I got four. And just going to show you the back sides of them first. And notice that they were all numbered up in the corner. Uh, this one in particular says BC155. And it is the Knight of Ren. So apparently there's a number to each figure. And then uh, kind of like in the old school vintage way, uh, they show all the different figures on the back. So they have Knight of Ren, Zori Bliss, Rey, Luke Skywalker, X-Wing Pilot, the Sith Jet Trooper, Poe Dameron, R2-D2, Chewbacca, the Imperial Stormtrooper, and... Boba Fett. If we flip it over to show you the front of the Knight of Ren, you have that Rise of Skywalker logo up at the top and it indicates what figure he is. You have his graphic over on the right and then the figure on the left. Lots of detail in this. I love the hood and the cape and the kind of rustic paint job and the fine detailed armor he has on his arms and legs and then he has some sort of a big huge axe as his weapon. Then we go to figure 157 which is Zori Bliss and you have her graphic over on the right side and all of these look like artist renderings they all look like drawings uh, and then you have her figure over on the left she has two guns uh, very similar to a Zam Weasel type figure. She's very thin and you can see all of her armament in like a muted soft gold and her outfit is in like a deep burgundy. A lot of people are talking about her. She's getting a lot of buzz on the internet because she kind of looks like a cross between Boba Fett and the Rocketeer. My third figure is number 160. This is Poe Dameron. Uh, this is a photograph of Poe and then there's kind of like an animated version of his orange X-Wing in the back. I didn't see his X-Wing for sale 
in the stores. I was really looking forward to that, wanting to pick that up. Uh, he got him in his flight suit over on the left and the removable helmet in black. And then he does have a smaller pistol there down at the bottom. It's really neat that his tubing and his straps are all loose and you can see a lot of the cool wrinkles uh, on his clothing. Figure 159 is the Sith Jet Trooper and you have his artist rendering over on the right. He's all done in red and over on the left you see his figure. He's got a little yellow uh, mark on his chest and he comes with two guns which is cool. I mean guns are cheap. You should always put some extra guns in these figures, I think, just so that kids don't lose them. Uh, he's got molded sculpted hands to hold both guns and he's all done in red and black. And I know we're all looking forward to seeing how he plays out in this new movie. And then the PS de Resistance number 94 of the Black series, The Mandalorian. Uh, there he is in his box. He's got his vintage gun that's kind of like a hybrid of a rifle and then the gun that was used in the Christmas special. So we're all kind of looking forward to seeing how that's going to play out. You have his Mandalorian armor there that looks like it's uh, left over from not only just uh, Mandalorian armor, but also like a vintage trooper armor and uh, Clone Wars style era armor. And then his kind of soft materials underneath that. And then we see he's got a pistol in the upper right. The front of the box just has the graphic of his face down in the lower right, the sides are just red and say the Mandalorian. And then the back side has uh, a little bit of his write up. Well, that was everything I purchased. And like I said, I didn't get a ton. I only kind of got the stuff that I was looking for. Uh, I did look for Poe's X-Wing. That was kind of something I wanted to get. I wanted to get at least like one large piece and perhaps I'll be able to find that in the near future. And when I do, I will show you that as well. Thanks for spending the time with me. Check out some of my other videos. May the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.